Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 in the conclusion of this replay. Nogram now mining out of this high yield mineral camp over here. Those phoenixes chasing down that mutilus. Mutilus trying to fly away, trying to escape, but those phoenixes dealing, moving very, very quickly and dealing 20 damage per shot, so able to take those units down. Four, four mutilus now getting gathered back up. Five mutilus now getting gathered back up. Perhaps they will be able to take down these particular phoenixes without any issue. Taking a look over here, large number of hydralis just waiting to move out, taking a look at that creep tumor, that creep tumor could be used to just spawn and then just try to push in through this location and make a very, very um, smart or, or a very, very fast attack towards that expansion or uh, towards or just trying to build this land bridge up by destroying those des destructible rocks. Taking a look back over here, we have a fair number of mutilus, a fair, uh, uh, what, a handful of mutilus, a, do a dozen or so hydralis, and then a couple zerglings to round out this bunch as those overlords still moving fairly slowly. No upgrades in terms of that speed. Actually, I think they are now getting that speed upgrade, yeah, for those overlords so that those phoenixes can no longer do very very much overlord hunting phoenixes with stalkers now on the ground we have hydralis and zerglings as well still a half a dozen mutilis um, almost two dozen or a dozen and a half sorry almost uh, actually is that two dozen 21 no almost two dozen units over there and now we finally have drones being transferred over here trying to do some additional mining a spine crawler being placed in, in this position overlords and um, dropping some of that creep in order to just be able to speed off speed up some of these units even further this creep tumor now being moved further and further around the map we'll see how this really works out mutal is going to be coming in perhaps trying to take down this expansion but there's too many cannons there is in fact one single one single pylon supplying power to two cannons though so if that pylon does go down those two cannons would not be operational taking a look fair number of zealots Colossi now also joining the mix of this whole entire fight and we also have a sentry no hallucination research though so not going to be able to um, take down some of those phoenix is trying uh, running into that group of those mutilus both sides really not wanting to engage and those overlords going to get hunted down getting taken down fairly easily losing some of that supply but si still Anagram sitting at 176 food right now so a very very large army massing up a very large army taking a look at the income 2100 compared to 14 because of that high yield mineral location still waiting for a much larger army the upgrades are now still sitting at 1-1 one, one, an additional hatchery being placed down as this creep tumor still moving around the map we'll see how this really works out uh, Zerling is now quickly taking down this pylon so pylon getting quickly taking down that one um, or Zerling quickly taking down that one pylon no additional melee upgrades and now we have Phoenix is going to go ahead and just try to take down these particular overlords. Overlords going to get shot down and by those phoenixes, even though the overlords do have that speed movement. Zealots able to just finish off the rest of that Zerling army with those colossi. Just a little bit of map control, but taking a look at the whole entire game right now. Um, Yellow really has no idea, or Epso really has no idea what's going on. Taking a look at the overlay, once again, here comes a really, really large fight. And... Wow, okay. That's really annoying. Here, here's that engagement now, right now. Mutal is trying to fight back. Colossi trying to take that damage. Colossi getting focused down by those Mutalists. Phoenixes are unable to really continue to do anything as Hydralis. Now a very, very large army of Hydralis. 197 food coming in. Two control groups of Hydralis coming in and those Mutalists quickly getting taken down. 198 food army against a 94. But those Zealots, oh, sorry, taking a look at those Colossi. Colossi do in fact have that range upgrade, so able to shoot down a lot of those units. But those Zealots without charge, unable to really deal that much damage. Hydralis now trying to come in. Graviton being lifting up a couple of those um, Hydralis, and, but not getting focused down. Oh, getting focused down by some of those cannons instead. More Graviton beams coming in. Colossi trying to fi fight fight this back right here. But Exlor just un not ready to handle this massive, massive number of units that Nagrum has decided to mass up at this stage of the game. Still 183 and now trying to push in into that main base right now. If he's able to take down some of these warp gates and just slow down the rest of this fight even further. Colossi now just trying to run back away, trying to get, perhaps trying to get healed back up. Only one single expansion that is Exlord operating off of. Hydralis and Zerglings once again moving back in. Hydralis also coming over here. Zealots going to try to come in and try to engage against those Hydralis. But more units just coming in. Zerglings going to be trying to surround that single Colossi. Able to surround that Colossi. 
Glossite just trying to run away, but unable to really handle that number of, of Zerglings. Are those Zerglings upgraded in terms of attack? It looks like they're, uh, the attack upgrade has also been researched. Taking a look at that, uh, no, no attack upgrade. Hydralis now moving in, and X-Lord says GG, well played. So X-Lord um, losing this game. I don't think I have game three in this best of three matchup. So um, Nagram takes one game, X-Lord takes game two. If I have game three, perhaps I'll shoutcast it later. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.